Hey designers and welcome back to Design School for WordPress Beginners. In this video, I want to show you how you can add a dual color headline widget to your Elementor pages, posts or websites. Well, what exactly is a dual color headline? Well, it's this one in this example right here in which a part of heading has certain color, font size and weight and the other part has different color, font size or weight. Well, how can you achieve this? There are two ways to achieve this. One is simply by using a free plugin or add-on for Elementor called Essential Add-ons and you can find it by simply typing Elementor into WordPress plugins repository and and this one right here you can install Essential Add-ons for Elementor that's an add-on built exactly for Elementor so once you do that activate it head over to Elementor click on Essential Add-ons and it opens up the settings for that particular plugin you can disable the elements that you're not using so you can disable most elements you can click on the elements that you're not using and click on save changes so that will save changes remember to select dual color header because that's the widget that i'm going to demo you and next we're going to build our own widget using elementor So click on any page, post or template which is designed by Elementor. Open up the Elementor edit screen and let's add a new row which has two columns. In the first column, I'll show you the widget which is basically the add-on. So you can find dual color heading here. Click and drag it to this column. And the second one is the one that we're going to build it by ourselves just by using the free version of the Elementor plugin. You don't need any other add-ons. So let's quickly check this out so that we can move on to the creation of this particular heading widget. Well, there are a lot of things you can inst uh, insert into this. Just I'm just de deleting all that just to show you what this widget is all about. I'll also disable the icon. I'll head over to style tab, color and typography. You can see can choose different colors for the main color maybe pink so this is the main color and dual color is another color maybe I can choose this one right here and I can also change the typography and notice when I change the typography it changes the typography of the whole heading widget and if you want to change just the typography of this part it's not possible with essential add-ons you may need another add-on such as ultimate add-ons and it's a paid one so I don't want to pay money for that when you can do it for free and I'll show you how you can do it this is my favorite part of the video where we are going to create the exact heading dual heading using the free version of Elementor you don't need anything else and don't worry everything will be in the description below all you need to do is to change the values and colors maybe some properties such as numbers everything will be in the description down below just follow along and copy the code that I'm going to show you right now so I'll type it, you don't have to type it because it will be in the description. So the widget that you need to search is called HTML. You may have never heard of it, but it's really powerful and it's magical too. I'll click and drag this HTML widget under this column. And I'm going to type some code. So there are a couple of things here. One is H2 which stands for heading and span which stands for the element that we want to style separately that's all you need to understand so whatever you type in between h2 and span will be your first part so I'll use the same text as this one so I'll just call it dual heading leave some space and whatever you type in between this span or whatever you replace this example with will be your second part. So here's a quick recap. Replace the dual heading with first part of your heading and example with second part. It's as simple as that. You don't have to do anything else. And the next thing that I'm going to add is something called class so that I can style the second part differently. So I'll call the class name note. You can give it any name, any unique name and make sure it's not a color or something that will be conflicting with Elementor elements. 
just simply use your dog name maybe even that will do and if you don't want to style your main part then you can leave it as is but i want to style my main part too so i'll give it another class name called noted so the span which is the example word is called note and in it, everything else in this heading is called noted so there are two classes you don't under, have to understand what classes are but you'll understand once i finish typing and styling them so the code that will be available in the description will be dot noted and dot note and whatever properties you apply to dot note will be applied to example or the word which is replaced by example and whatever properties that you apply to dot noted or if in case you give some other example here so whatever you call it here will be applied to the whole heading except this word and whatever properties you call here will be applied to the example word so you don't have to change it just change the properties you don't have to change the names as they'll be unique so the first thing that i want to show you is to change the font of the second part so i'll change the font to arial and you can see how the font changes right the font family changes you can also give it something else maybe tahoma or however you call it so the font changes and the second thing that you can do is to change the font size so if you want to increase the size of just the second part just do it give it a bigger font size maybe 50 pixels or maybe 40 pixels or even 30 pixels so that will be subtly different and if you don't want this part just delete this and if you don't want font family or if you don't want to change the font of the second part just do just delete this line as well and if you delete that line everything default will be applied and you don't have to worry about anything don't worry everything will be in the code down below just follow what i'm doing here and the next thing that i want to apply is obviously color i want to give a separate color for the second part so maybe i'll give it blue and you can see how the second part changes its color to blue and i can also give background color such as pink and that will be applied only to the second part because everything i type under note will be applied to the second part and if i want to style this differently i need to type th those properties here and if you want the font size of everything else to be different you can type it here so that will change the font size of the first part and if you want to change the color of the first part as well just type it so i typed red here and you can see that the color of first part changes to red you can also change the font family of this times new roman if you want maybe if you like it that way and watch when i remove font size of this basically the font size of the whole widget will be explain will be applied to this and you can also change the font weight let me remove this background color for now font weight stands for how thick a font should be so let me type it every property will be in the description down below don't worry and font weight will be a number between 100 to 900 so if i give 900 it's too thick and if i give it maybe 200 it's too thin and if you want to change the font weight of the first part as well you just type it and maybe you can give it a thinner number maybe we can change this second part's font weight to 900 and you can see how that weight difference is showing here, over here okay now let me remove the font size here or let me just keep it i'll remove the font weight from here you can also remove the font family if you want let me show you something really cool about this there is a property called text decoration well what exactly it does it decorates or it adds special elements such as underlining overlining and dotted so you can say underline and 
it will add an underline just under the element in this case the second part you can also do that to the first part i don't want to do it i just want to style the first part sorry the second part here so you can also add two properties at once so you can also say overline and when you say both both of them will be applied to the second part and there is other property called line through so just type line and you get that property so you can keep all three properties as usual and you don't have to worry and the next thing is color so if you want underline color to change or maybe the decoration color to change you can give color of it maybe i'll give uh, orange right orange is fine i'll remove overline from here and also line through and the last thing that you can change is the type of decoration so if you give wavy here you can see how that underline changes and there are certain other properties i'll leave all those properties in the description and there's one more property i'll show you you can maybe give it a dashed pattern and the second part changes like this let me remove this column this is achieved using essential add-ons plugin i don't want that so this is how we're going to do it and this is the first part and second part part and let me customize the text let me show you how you can customize the text so where it says dual heading i'll just say you sorry you can and the second part i'll call it style this right you can see how different styles are applied for you can and style this style this is typed in between two spans and you can is typed before span and after h2 so whatever you want your first part to be just delete this text and replace that here and whatever you want your second part to be just remove style this and put it over there and play with all the properties you can also apply these properties and also font weight font style and there is an additional property called font style so you can make this font maybe italic and you can see how that changes now let me show you where it's practically useful and how you can further style it if you are happy with this you can stop watching here and go ahead and design your heading description you can find everything related so you have to paste the html code so the first part will be the html code and then you need to change the text so you, you need to replace you can with your first part and style this with your second part leave everything unchanged and go ahead and also copy the custom css in the description and you're done i want to show you something else and you can as i said whatever is in between span has a different style so whatever in, is in between h2 and this one or whatever is other than the span element has a single size so you can also do this crazy thing where you can remove a part of text from the span and put it in between the second span and h2 so when you do that only a single word or a single thing is styled so let me show you where that is really effective so let us remove the font weight let us remove the text decoration you can clearly see it let me also remove the font style from here and you can see how that changes so these are two different font families so let me also remove the font families from here you can clearly see the change when the font family is changed and you can apply something called font style sorry text decoration and uh, let me give an underline property for this and uh, let me give it a red color and let me make it wavy so you can see how effective that looks so you can say you can style this you can also add a background to this to this part so whatever is under note will get this background so let us add a background color of maybe red red is too heavy so let me give a blue color or a black background 
you can see that how it's applied to only this element and to finish it off in style i've taught you gradients in the previous video go check that out and also apply gradients to this particular element let me remove the background color and text de decoration so you can clearly see what kind of gradients i'm talking about so i'll apply a linear gradient i'll have two colors under this or maybe three mm, okay blue is too heavy maybe i can give a pink gradient here and i can specify an angle for this and you can see how that looks so you can basically apply any property that i have specified about the text to this particular element which is your second part or your intermediate part so i'll just move it back to the span class so if you want to add an additional element make sure you type something else in between here so i'll just say optional so you can replace this optional or remove it completely it doesn't matter and this part will be removed so this is what you'll find in the description down below make sure you play with all the properties and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below so this is how you make widgets on your own without spending a single buck and that's it for now and hope you guys like this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you need anything else don't hesitate to ask i'm ready to help you catch you in the next video peace